Hey Flynn, Grandma here again. I'm just thinking about Easter. Remember I sent you that Easter toy, that egg? How do you like it? Are you enjoying it? I hope so. Anyway, I thought I'd read you a book about Easter. This one's called Betty Bunny Loves Easter. It's by Stephanie Jorsch. Look at that. And Michael Kaplan. Those are the people that wrote it. Michael Kaplan and Stephanie drew it. And look at that. Isn't that pretty? It looks like a beautiful Easter book. And that bunny looks very happy carrying an egg around. Let's see what's going on. Let's open it up. A book can be like a present sometimes. You don't know what's inside. But we're going to find out. Betty Bunny loves Easter. Oh my goodness, she's painting eggs. That looks so fun. That's a good Easter tradition. Do you and Mommy ever paint eggs, Mommy and Daddy? Wow, Betty Bunny was ha a handful. That meant she was very busy. Sometimes a little messy. Sometimes didn't listen very well. That's what a handful is. But she looks like she's having fun. She knew this because on one night before Easter, she was hopping all around the kitchen. Hop, 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 hop. Hopping all around the kitchen. Handing eggs to her parents, her brothers, and her sister. And that's when everyone in her family said at once, Betty Bunny, you sure are a handful. Calm down a little bit and relax. Oh, has anybody ever told you to calm down and relax? Sometimes, they tell me that sometimes. Betty Bunny knew that being a handful must be very good because what could be bad about being excited about Easter? I love Easter, Betty Bunny said. When I grow up, I'm going to be an Easter Bunny. Wow, isn't that a great thing to be when you grow up an Easter Bunny? That sounds like fun, but I think only bunnies. Well, she is a bunny. Can be an Easter Bunny. You can't be an Easter Bunny, said her brother Harry. Only the Easter Bunny can be the Easter Bunny. There's only one, but you could grow up and be a weird bunny who runs around acting like an Easter Bunny, her brother added. Hmm, well, that doesn't seem very encouraging, does it? He's sticking his tongue out. What a naughty brother. Very not, not, not nice to poor Betty, are they? No, Betty Bunny replied. I'm going to be the Easter Bunny. She knew she would be a great Easter Bunny because she loved coloring eggs. She liked carrying baskets, eating things made of chocolate that looked like her. Yum. I like to eat chocolate that looks like bunnies, don't you? Yum, yum, yum. She told her family that someday... When she was the Easter Bunny, she will deliver baskets full of candy and toys, not just on Easter, but every day of the year. Come on, you can't deliver stuff every day of the year. It can only be on Easter. Well, maybe your mom will believe her. If every day is like Easter, her mother said, then it won't be special anymore. If every day is like Easter, Betty Bunny replied, then every day will be special. You'll see. Mm, well, let's see. The next day was Easter. After church, Betty Bunny and her family arrived at the neighborhood park for the Easter egg hunt. We're going to go look for Easter eggs. The egg hunt was Betty Bunny's favorite part of the day. She was particularly, that means very, very, hopping out of her fur with excitement. Hop, 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 I'm so excited. It's Easter egg hunt time. Yeah, I get excited at Easter egg hunt. Do you, Flynn Morley? Betty Bunny's mother and father gave her a brand new basket. Oh, nice. It was the biggest Easter basket she ever had. Look at the size of that puppy. She can hardly lift it. This is a good size. Betty Bunny told them, struggling to lift it. I always find the most eggs, so I'm sure I will fill this up. Betty Bunny took her basket and started to look. Here's Mommy and Daddy saying, there you go. Take a big Easter basket and go find eggs with your friends. Hmm. What do you think of those friends? Kate nudged an egg on her toe. There's one, she said. Betty Bunny put it in her basket. 
Henry shook a branch. Betty Bunny looked over and saw that there was an egg under the branch. Looks like you found another, Henry said, as Betty Bunny put it in her basket. Bill picked up an egg and put it directly into Betty Bunny's basket. How do you do it? Bill asked, sounding impressed. Betty Bunny stopped looking for eggs. Why are you helping me? She asked. Oh, she was wondering why people were helping her. Because like, it's not really a hunt if people tell you where things are. You're supposed to find it yourself, right? Why are you helping me? Betty Bunny asked. It's a mystery now. We always help you. It's why you find so many eggs, Henry said. I guess you're just not good enough to notice, Kate said, but we're not helping you that much. You are really good at this, Bill said, and he dropped three more eggs in her basket. Well, Bill, you're not really much fun. You should let Betty find her own eggs because she doesn't seem too happy. Let's see what happens. <gasps> Stop it, Betty cried out. Easter is my favorite holiday. I'm going to be an Easter bunny someday and I can find the eggs myself. I believe you, said her friend Kate. I believe you. I hope you do. Hmm, that, is that an elephant? They have lots of eggs too. Cool, said Henry. Now I can throw eggs into the basketball hoop with my friends. This Henry is a troublemaker. I do not like Henry. I'll tell you that right now. Let's see what else happens. And I can go sit in the parking lot and play this egg hunt game on my phone. What? Who are these troublemakers? Betty Bunny dumped all the eggs out of her sip that her brothers had found. She took her egg basket and looked for eggs all by herself. And she dumped them out. Wow, she's really mad. Her friends are going, what's she going to do next? She looked on the ground. She looked under rocks. She See underground, under rocks? She looked behind bushes. She even looked in the coat pocket of a, la of a lady who did not seem very happy about it. Well, you don't really look at people's pockets without permission, I hope. But she was looking for eggs. Oh, she found one. Hmm, one egg. All around her, kids were shouting, I found one, I found one, I found another one. But Betty did not find more than one. Hmm, now what? She sat down on the ground and started to cry. Oh no, poor Betty. Betty Bunny's mother and father came over and knelt down beside her. What's the matter? Her mother asked. I hate Easter, Betty Bunny cried. Easter is yucky. And she told her parents all about how this year she wanted to find eggs by herself, but only found one. Yeah, sometimes people cry. That's okay, they have to cry sometimes. I'll never, never going to be an Easter bunny, Betty cried. I'm gonna be a dentist. Teeth are always in the mouth where they're easy to find. So Betty thinks teeth are easier to find than Easter eggs. She might be right, but she's giving up on her dream really easy, I think. She should try again. And it's her friends jumping around, ha ha, having fun at Easter. Betty Buddy's father told her that he was very proud of her for wanting to find the eggs by herself and meant she was being, growing up to be a big girl. Oh yeah, that's true. Her mother was proud too. She told Betty Bunny that it doesn't matter how many eggs she finds, any egg she finds by herself will mean more than if someone gives them to her. Yeah, it's better to work for things yourself. Yeah, I agree with mom and dad. Eh, because she's getting older and she's growing up and she can do stuff for herself. Make her bed, find her eggs, brush her teeth, all those grown up things. Betty Buddy nodded and wiped away her tears. Then she began looking for more eggs. Oh, so she felt better, and she was gonna look for more eggs now. She found one buried in the tall grass. She found another beside the swing set. Oh, sometimes when we're in a better mood, things are easier to do. I think so. She looks very happy. 
She had three eggs in her giant basket. That was all she could find, but her mother was right. Those three eggs she found by herself meant more to her than any eggs that people gave her. Maybe she grew up that day. She would be the Easter Bunny in the spring and a dentist the rest of the year. What a good idea she's thinking of. I will just be Easter Bunny at Easter time, but the rest of the time I'm gonna be a dentist. That afternoon, Betty Bunny's mother saw Betty Bunny going through her purse. Betty Bunny, she added, what are you doing in my purse? That's not okay. I need money to buy an even bigger basket for next year. You need to ask first. You always have to ask before going through somebody's things. Betty Bunny's learning a lot of lessons, don't you think, Flynn Moreland? If I ask you, said Betty Bunny, you'll just give it to me. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. But when it belongs to somebody else, you should ask all the time. I like Betty Bunny. That's the end. Betty Bunny! Happy Easter, Flynn Morley. I love you.